Hello all and welcome to Select AV News. Let's just talk about some interesting and amazing news which was happened in this way. And here is our first news. Hyundai has revealed the new Kona SUV for international markets. The SUV is available in four power trains, including the electric, hybrid, internal combustion, and the sporty N line. The new Hyundai Kona measures. 4,355 mm, which is 150 mm longer than the older car. The width and the wheelbase have also been increased by 25 mm and 60 mm respectively. The car has taken inspiration from Hyundai's Ionic design family with a clean and aerodynamic look. The front gets a full width LED light strip for all models with the headlamp incorporated lower down. Hyundai has also updated the cabin of the new Kona. It gets a single panel under which the instrument display and the infotainment display both 12.3 inches have been integrated. Being derived from EV architecture, the interior boards of a clean open space with little to no buttons. Wanted to look at electric vehicle dealers? Find more than 2000 dealers in Select EV application. Wanted to look at charging stations for your electric vehicle? Find more than 1000 charging stations located in Select EV application. Wanted to know the available electric vehicle models? Find more than 90 electric vehicle models in Select EV application. Wanted to know the availability of electric vehicle spare parts? Select EV application is one stop solution for all your electric vehicle requirements. And here is our next news. It is from Mark Suzuki. Martha Suzuki India has announced that it will be showcasing two new SUVs at the Auto Expo 2023. The company will also unveil an electric concept alongside the new range of SUVs. Martha Suzuki will emphasize on sustainability, technology, safety and connectivity at the Martha Suzuki Pavilion at Auto Expo 2023. While the company has not revealed the names of the SUVs, we can be certain that it will show off the new 5-door Marty Suzuki, Zimni and Bellino based crossover. Marty Suzuki will display 16 vehicles at the Explo, including an electric concept SUV, two all new SUVs, Wagon R, Flex Fuel prototype and its customized range of existing products like Grand Vitara, XL6, Sias, Etiga, Brezza, Bellino and Swift among others. Coming to the Marthi Suzuki Pavilion, highlights are The Marthi Suzuki Pavilion will be spread across 4118M2 at Hall No. 9. The Pavilion will be divided into four zones, Sustainability Zone, Technology Zone, Innovation Zone and the Adventure Zone. The company will showcase a grand SUV amphitheater with an elevated section featuring a range of SUVs and UVs by Marthi Suzuki. This zone is for tech savvy visitors. It will demonstrate technologies like ADOS, V2X, new power trains like intelligent electric hybrid, robotic touch screen arm and virtual reality. This zone will engage with Varun Dhawan fans as they will be able to pose with the Bollywood character for a unique photo opportunity. The adventure zone will have a rock wall climbing activity to showcase customized all grip vehicles. We are confident that our range of all new SUVs, futuristic concept EV hybrid, flex fuel prototype and products will capture the imagination of enthusiasts. Here is our next news. UK based electric bicycle specialist Volt has recently introduced a new flagship model in the form of the Infinity electric bike. Now on its second generation, the Infinity is marketed as a hybrid e-bike, meaning it's positioned as a jack of all trades e-bikes that's suitable for both city commuting and leisure riding. When it comes to the second generation, Volt Infinity's styling, it makes use of a standard step over frame with a belt in battery in the down tube. It also boosts similar updates found in the rest of Volt's electric bicycle lineup, while at the same time retaining mid tire pricing at $2,999. Performance is limited to an assisted top speed of 15.5 miles per hour. Range figures are equally impressive with Volt 
climbing a range of up to 90 miles on a single charge. The battery consists of a 504 WH unit that's seamlessly integrated into the down tube for a sleek, minimalist aesthetic. The battery can be charged in around 4 hours. And we are moving to the next news. The record broke it. Fastest EV over 1000 km on a single charge now stands at 11 hours and 53.32 minutes. which the team achieved at the Australian Automotive Research Centre highly looped test track in Victoria. Over 240 laps of the circuit, the Sun Swift averaged a speed of just under 85 km per hour, stopping only for driver swaps and twice for repairs. One stop was required to repair a punch of time, while another stop lasted 14 minutes and 52 seconds to address a battery management issue, which brought the car to a halt. According to the event rules, the car could only be stationary for up to 15 minutes at a time. During this record, the energy consumption was just 3.8 kWh, 100 km per hour, whereas even the most efficient EVs on the road today only achieve a rating of 15 kWh with 100 km and the average is around 20 kWh with 100 km, he said. Sun Swift 7 is not a production car of the future since we have compromised on comfort and the cost is prohibitive but we have shown that if you want to make cars more efficient more sustainable more environmentally friendly then it is possible i used to work in formula 1 and nobody thinks we will be driving f1 cars on the road in 5 or 10 years but the technology they use in f1 really pushes the boundaries and some of that filters down and that's what we are trying to do with sun swift and what this world record shows in achievable here is your next news piaggio launches the two new evs into the market ape e ct fx max and ape e extra fx max by 2023 24000 units of three wheeler evs will be launched by piaggio in collaboration with other ev players The two wheelers are being assembled by an all-women team in Paramount. The app ECT FX Max has 0.39 hours per kilometer running range. The app ECT FX Max is now into L5M category. Its specifications include 5.44 kW with a 29 Nm motor, 8 kWh lithium ion battery, max speed of 50 km per hour range of 145 km with 48V, 3000 volts home charger. Full charge time will be 3 hours and 45 minutes. Grageability will be 20%. The app E Extra FM Max comes in L5 and category. The specifications are like this: 9.55 kW with 45 Nm motor, 8 kWh lithium-ion battery. While the claim top speed is similar at 50 km per hour, the claim range is 150 km. The charge duration is exactly similar to that of the App ECT FX Max: 3 hours and 45 minutes using a 48 volts with 3000 volts home charger. The gradeability comes at 19% for this cargo three wheeler with a reserve range of up to 5 km these are 30% enhanced the warranty range is in between 150000 to 175000 km with 12 inch tires and telematic 2.0 the chai persons are happy to expand their range and branches here is our next news Ford will be revealing its first EV built on Volkswagen MEB platform in Germany. The EV will be similar to the Volkswagen ID4. First EV in 2023 is envisaged the features include aero optimized wheel designs, contrasting lower bumper, chunky LED headlights and squarely shaped. Ford plans to launch the Mustang Mach-E electric SUV in India. Mahindra and Volkswagen signed to use new components and let us talk about our next news Foxconn the Taiwan's e iPhone assembler will launch new EV Foxconn bought Lordstown Motor Plant Nohio that ships a Foxconn's electric trucks Foxconn will manufacture its second vehicle the pair in 2024 Foxconn will partner with startups like Fisker and Indio 
Foscon will build Scout branded electric SUV and pickup truck for Volkswagen. The electronic components of EVs is the advantage of Foxconn. Many industry experts like Tule have given their insights on this manufacturing. Here is our next news. A Spanish electric foldable car called La Cota will be launched soon. It can shrink from 3 meters to 2 meters of its original size. The electric motors, steering and brakes are pulled into the wheels. The foldable car was prototyped in 2010 by MIT named as City Car. Spanish company NTD Energy will launch three versions of the foldable cars. A convertible buggy, a two-seater and a mini delivery truck. The company and its makers are very happy for the EVs that it will be city owned. To make profit, it will have the drivers promote ads. The specifications of these vehicles include 580 kg hemp body, max speed 90 km per hour within 15 minutes per 20 of 100% charging. The manufacturers will launch 1200 in 2023. And at last we came to the last news for today's video. Ardis electric SUV Q8 Etron is going to launch. The very first Etron was given a facelift and made this soup. This car looks good with many cut creases, grilly liftings and LED lights. The interiors are all are the signature mockups and luxurious with the sophisticated technology. 55 trims, 95 kWh battery, driving range was 347 km and export back with 505 km and coming to the battery 114 kWh pack, 11 kW AC charger with 11 and half hours of full charge time. 150 kW DC charger 10% to 80% in just 30 minutes. Both the 50 and 55 versions have a dual motor setup. Power outputs of 340 HP and 480 HP 664 Norm Torque. 1.3 crore starting price, 3 vehicles July and August in 2023 in India it is going to be launched. I hope you people like this video. If you like this video, please do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe our channel. See you all in the next week. Thanks for watching.